How's it going? My name is Orlando Javier Jr. I am the co-writer, producer, and the director of the film Five Month Trial. So I've been I've been doing horror movies lately, and I still plan on doing horror movies. I really enjoy the process of that. And the last one we did, Use Your Intuition, was a little draining emotionally, and I think I wanted to try something different. Um, Five Month Trial was a film that I started writing in 2019 and I, I honestly thought I was going to get produced in 2020. Then the pandemic kind of happened and the script wasn't where I wanted it to be. So I reached out to a buddy of mine named Madison Hook and she freaking nailed it. Like she kind of got what I was going for, got the humor that I was going for, uh, punched it up because she's a lot funnier than I am. and. Uh, she really made it so that the film shines and I, I, look, I'm not blowing smoke at her. This film would have been made without her. Um, I had the bones of the story. I knew where it was going to go. Like I know how it ended. I knew what the, the, for the most part, the plot line and the hook, but no pun intended. Um, she was the one who really helped me break through some of the characters and even help with the twist of the film. I always knew I wanted to be a storyteller. I've started reading at a really young age. My mom got me on like hooked on phonics and stuff like that. I also um, was placed in a lot of disability classes growing up because uh, I was extremely dyslexic and people thought that my creativity was, um, I don't know, like problematic. And so a lot of people would discourage it. Um, but then I found, you know, teachers in high school and other creative people who were like, nah, you, you have a pretty cool, my uncle, Tony, for example, he bought me a screenwriting program and he said, you should be doing this. And I think he was right. <laughs> um, so I, I went to film school, still on hook for a lot of that. And I, uh, just started to create films. And while a lot of my contemporaries who I thought, while wow, those guys are going to go far, are not doing filmmaking anymore, I just kept going. And I stopped for a while and I, 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 and I felt like I needed to, to kind of grow up a bit more. But uh, in 2016, I made this film called Keep Your Gun Dry with um, a fantastic group of people. It was just me and Mark uh, Beckerman, who's a fantastic filmmaker and, and I believe he's gaffing and gripping right now um, in California. He's awesome. And, uh, and John Logan and Allison Blackman, who are the first actors who've trusted me with my first post-college project. And without them, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Strange enough, neither of them are in this film, which I didn't write a cameo film. But I then went on to do No More Lonely People, One More Thing, that thing I had that one time, to clear favorite cigarettes. Um, and so much more and the hunger just kept going and the hunger is still alive I have a big chip on my shoulder because a lot of people told me I wasn't good enough and fuck you yes I am you should support this film because it's I've never seen or been a part of a project like this that has the support that we already have over 150 people have contributed to this project and well, that's, you know, that's kind of insane. <laughs> um, I really do feel it's a wholesome, silly, romantic, fun time at the movies. I think you're going to be blown away by the performances. I think even visually, John, who's the cinematographer, and I are cooking up some cool stuff. And more importantly, you'll be watching people who are knocking on the door of something bigger. Breaking into an industry that doesn't allow people like myself or a lot of the members of the cast tell their stories. Um, this film is unapologetic diverse and it wasn't intentional. Uh, I casted who I thought were the best people for the role and it just so happens they look like the real world. It's funny how that works, right? So you'll be supporting diversity stories, you'll be supporting people who have this hunger and chip on their shoulder to make themselves great. I, I, I often put in the updates from the Cedar Spark, you'll be supporting the hardest working filmmakers you know. And we need your help. 
campaign's almost over. We have to reach uh, 100% in order to make this film. And with your support, I think we can get there. So please go to the link in bio, click on this link if it's here, and let's make a movie together.